It is indeed an honor as well as a proud privilege to introduce the mayor of Chicago, the Honorable Richard M. Daly. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you. On behalf of the people of the city of Chicago, I'd like to thank uh, St. Leonard House, uh, Grace House, for the adult high school education graduation program. And I want to really comment about the teachers and all the volunteers that uh, have made this program so successful. I congratulate you. Uh, I, I want to make sure the press understands what you're doing and, and to, I hope, interview you about uh, uh, the men and women that you have truly helped in regards to their graduation. I think it's important to uh, tell the public uh, uh, about these graduates, uh, what they've accomplished, and what, how their lives are turned around. I think there's, again, a misconception, you know that in society, about those that have committed a, a, a violation of the law. Uh, we forget as a society that those who are coming out want to change our lives. And we have to do everything possible, necessary. Five years ago, the city of Chicago worked with St. Leonard's House about five years ago or more in regards to a grant. And then in turn, we have a full-time assistant in the mayor's office dealing with reentry. We have been trying to work with the state government about many policies in the prison system, which is really important about education and about jobs and job training, I'd be very frank. That is where we have to do, government has to do a much better job. Uh, those have committed uh, an act, get sentenced, have to be able to be able to receive their high school or even college education there, I believe in this, be able to have a job training program throughout uh, their internment. That is very important because if we don't, what we see, and every, all the experts that teachers could tell you, and all the volunteers, uh, it's not accomplishing too much. And, and I, my hat goes off to all the teachers, and especially the graduates. These are your brothers and sisters, or mothers and fathers, aunts or uncles, or friends. <laughs> and I hope the uh, Bilal, Brad, and others that uh, the media takes time in talking to the graduates uh, about their accomplishments. I think, again, uh, you have built not only education, but their character and confidence in themselves to be able to handle any situation. Uh, it is very important in this day and age, we have even changed the policy in regards to hiring policy in the city of Chicago. We have e even changed the policy in regards to many contracts uh, uh, that we deal with contractors and other things in regards to uh, ex-offenders and others, homeless and veterans as well. That's very important. We are working with contract, even the stimulus bill. Uh, we fought for uh, basically money to be used uh, uh, for reentry. I, I think it's very important on the stimulus package because if you start talking about hiring or rehiring people or just giving person the first chance, Reentry is always there, and that's why the stimulus program we hope to fashion in regard to jobs and really jobs and job training in that regard. That is very, very important. America cannot shut their eyes on and say it's not our problem. It is our problem, and it's not going to go away. Uh, it is not going to go away, and so from my viewpoint, what this graduation really reflects, I think, is a now is a complete understanding. And the more we educate the public, the better off we are as a society. And I congratulate each and every one of you. I, I think uh, I, this is a highlight of everyone's life. It doesn't matter how old you are. When you graduate from whether high school or any other program, what you've accomplished in, in your life is extremely important. I know your families are very proud of you, your extended families. I know all the teachers and volunteers are because they believe in you and they what they're saying to you uh, is, is an opportunity. And these are all opportunities that are presented to you. And, and I wish you the best in, in, in your careers uh, uh, and Godspeed with your health in your careers because 
uh, not only your family are looking down upon you right here, looking at you, and also in this wonderful church, uh, that the inspiration that you can give to other people. And you are role models for other younger people. You know that. You are role models. You have a great effect upon younger people. When you talk about your life and how, what you have done with your life and how you accomplish things, and we need we need more people to tell the story of themselves to younger people. We don't do that anymore. The perceptions they receive is more on TV or or, or, or some someone playing music, and, and I think it's hard it's, it's hard to tell people the stories. And the only way you can do it is yourself, from one generation to another your children or grandchildren or kids right in the community. And all these teachers, and they're dedicated. And again, uh, we need more people to dedicate uh, our lives to the younger people, uh, not only the city, but of America. Uh, with all the opportunities we can give, there's something missing going on in, in this country. And I think it's just telling the story to younger people because everybody's gonna fall in their life. I don't care who you are, you're gonna fall. And if you don't have a helping hand, if you don't have a helping hand there, a lot of people wanna keep you down. But St. Leonard's House and Grace's House and your family and the volunteers and teachers never, never kept you down. There's a helping hand there. And I think that is the impression we have to tell more people. Helping hands are more important than the foot on someone's head. Thank you very much.